G'day everyone. I've said in the past that I like these mammoth germanium transistor sockets. Um, something that you can use to experiment with um, germanium transistors or if, you, if you're building a germanium transistor tester um, you can use one of those as well. Um, it's just a piece, a thick piece of FR4 board by the looks of it with um, the, uh, some holes drilled out and some probably gold plated by the looks of them um, um, SLI um, pins put in um, and uh, they, they're good, they're durable, they work well, they're just a bit pricey um, so I'm looking for a substitute because I mean that looks like something that I can make myself so I'm going to do the do-it-yourself approach in this um, video and if you're thinking well why don't you just get a row of SLIs um, like three of these and cut them into um, cut them into three and then put them in that triangle solder them directly into the, into the um, PCB that you're working on um, and just use them like that. They tend to snap. Um, the leads on the germanium transistors are quite thick, um, I've found, and um, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just something that they used to, the way things were made back then, but things tend to tend to have um, thicker leads on them, and, um, and I mean, this is an AC transistor, and I mean, you've got no hope of telling how thick that is, but I mean, that, take my word for it if you've never seen them before, a lot of them are thicker, some aren't, of course, like a GT108V has a, has a leg on it like a, a piece of hair, um, but most of them uh, are, are quite thick. Um, so I'm looking for a substitute for those um, mammoth, uh, a do-it-yourself approach on, uh, for those mammoth um, germanium sockets. If you couldn't be bothered doing it this way, you can buy them from, buy, just go and buy them from mammoth. They're, they're really good. I've used them plenty of times in the past. I tend to use... Uh, quite a few of them and um, yeah, just looking for something cheaper basically um, so This is my method my do-it-yourself method and um, uh, it's uh, It's it's pretty good. They're probably not quite as good as the mammoth ones, but they're good enough um, basically If you take a piece of Vero board the spacing on a piece of strip board um, is pretty much right for um, the those pins to go um, straight in and you know um, they the the transistors usually got long legs anyway so it doesn't matter too much about the spacing but the pins will fit um, in a piece of um, uh, strip board like that so what you got to do is um, I've measured my SLI um, sockets and I'm just gonna I actually soldered it in so I'm just gonna cut another one and show you what the measurements are so that you can um, plan for yours um, if you're gonna make a couple of these up so that's the SLI pin that you'll need. Um, so if it's not focusing too well, uh, this camera can have issues with focusing. All you do is just break that um, plastic um, surround of the pin from the SLI slot, so you just got the pin itself. Um, and uh, I'll um, I'll just measure those now, so that you know what drill size you need when you drill out the um, drill out the strip board. So hopefully, as you can see in the video, um, I've got the uh, these cheap ass calipers on. Um, the part of the pin just before uh, the the top, the rim, the, the largest diameter part of the pin. Uh, it's just below. Um, you can see that it, there's a there's a rim around the top of it. So that's going to sit on top of our strip board when we push it in um, to stop it from going through uh, the whole way. So basically, you're going to want to drill out the holes for. Uh, I'm measuring that at 1.3 millimeters. So anything bigger than 1.3 millimeters. But smaller because you don't want the pin to go the whole way through. Sorry, I just dropped the pin. Um, but nothing. Uh, but it's got to be smaller than 1.7. So any, uh, uh, if you've got a drill bit that's between 1.3 and 1.7, uh, well, that's what my pin, particular pin is. Um, you should be all right though. So if you go for maybe 1.5 millimeter drill bit um, and drill out the um, drill out the holes like I've done on this one, you can see the um, the bigger holes. There's four bigger holes. Um, so we're dealing with quite small items here, which is why we're having issues focusing. But uh, yeah, you, you just drill out the holes like that, and then you push your pin through um, so that it goes in like that. And then you just put three in, um, in the same configuration that you saw with the um, Mammoth um, uh, germanium transistor sockets. And then you end up with a, I've cut this one down so it's a bit smaller, 
and you end up with something that's got um, the three pins for the um, transistor to go into. Uh, just make sure that you don't put two on the same line going across like that, otherwise you're going to short them out. You have to just have to cut it, cut the track. Um, and um, yeah, so just to, um, to test the socket to see if it works, which I'm sure it does, because it's just a socket, but I'll show you anyway. Um, you put it in like such, and you've got your germanium transistor socket. Probably cost about the whole of two cents to put together, um, and um, and they seem pretty well. They seem pretty good too. Um, you know, I, I said before that they weren't as good as the mammoth um, sockets, but I don't know. They're probably going to be just as good. Um, so make a whole batch of them and save yourself a fair swag of money. So that's it for this video. Um, just a just a quick tip. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope it saved you a few bucks.